Hello everybody, welcome back. It's time for some more Steins Gate with me, Phantoms of Y. So, last time we completed the Ferris End, and now we're going to continue with our goal to basically remain on this similar world line, preserve our relationship with our friends, and of course save my Yuri. So, I am picking up right from when we have the option to uh, pick up the call, but we are going to, for drama's sake, go through a few lines of dialogue here, and then we will send out the call. I'm sorry, Ferris. I lied to you. When we change things back to the way they were, your memories of this world line will almost certainly disappear. Perhaps another miracle will happen, and you'll regain your memories of this world line too, but I can't be sure. There are no guarantees. And so, I will engrave these memories into my heart. The memory of Ferris, the Rynet champion. The memory of her father, who gave thanks to a stranger like me for protecting his daughter. I will carry them for you. Always. Just kidding on Ransom. I love you, Papa. See you soon. Sent. More divergence. All right, fractural androgynous. There we go. My head spins. I feel faint. Slowly, the world reasserts itself. I've teleported to the to the lab development room. Ferris is standing next to me. Reading Steiner is telling me that the world line has changed. Additionally, the injuries the viral attackers inflicted on my body have vanished. So is the pain. Ferris is standing in the center of the room, looking around. The tears that were in her eyes just a moment ago are gone. Just a moment ago, Ferris was fighting to hold back her tears. But that Ferris is no more. In her place is the usual cute, cheerful Ferris, with an impish smile on her face. I look at the phone in my hand. It's not my phone, but one with several cute, girly cat doll phone straps attached. <laughs> Ferris walks up to me with a teasing smile on her face. She pokes at my fingers with her index finger. <laughs> <laughs> Ferris gently takes her phone from my hand. もし見たのなら忘れてほしいにゃ。あれはこの中に封じ込めておかないとダメなのにゃ。出ないと奴らが目覚めてしまうのにゃ。で、今日な。今のは突っ込みどころだにゃ。あれってなんだよって、いつも
The only thing I can do is apologize. On this world line, my Yuri invited Ferris to come hang out at the lab. I have mail! Hold everything! From my Yuri. Kaede-chan had a fight with her boyfriend. How do I get them to make up? Mayushi's never had a fight with anyone, so I think it's mysterious. I couldn't fight with a person I like. Um... Person I like? Since when do you like have someone you like? I figured you'd put food before romance, lol. Okabe, you so dense. There we go. You know what, actually, I think it's time that the, set, the phone settings changed again. It's been a while. Let's change our wallpaper again. Uh, maybe to a Garo Froggy? Cat Garo Froggy? Let's take a look. Sure, that's fine. Let's do that. And... Male ringtone. Which is this one? Oh, oh, this is the uh, Phantasm song. That's all it plays? That's too short. You can't even get anything out of that, really. Um, easy goingness. <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, and our call ringtone. Sure. Beginning of fight. There we go. Apparently, she came to see a costume Mayuri had made. Ferris has work after this, so she soon leaves the lab. After seeing Ferris off, I head towards Yanabayashi Shrine. On the, on the way, I stop at Chuodori and take a look around. The, state of... the Moe stores exist again. Animate. Tora no Ana. Man, uh, Mandarake. Gamers. Lamatara. Melon Books. Asobit City. They've all returned to the streets of Akiba. There's a gigantic anime-themed banner hanging from the soft map building. Maids walk the street, hanging out leaflets, or handing out. Cosplay girls, cosplaying girls advertise in storefronts. But the return to the familiar scenery brings no relief in my heart. There's only pain, for everything I see confirms that Ferris has lost her father. But I can't stop there. I shake my head and hurry to the shrine. On the way, I notice that the satellite is missing from Radio Kaiken's rooftop. Of course it is. Suzuha is gone. The thought brings a new pang of, of grief to my heart. Mail! Mayushi does have someone she likes. Ehehe. <laughs> yeah, who could that be? Actually, I didn't read that last line, I think. Uh, before this is over, how much more pain will I shoulder? I pass beneath the archway and enter the silent courtyard. I walk up to the main building and jab the intercom. After a few presses, I get a reply. It's female Lukuko now. Lukuko com comes out. Girly as always, even though he's a guy. No, wait. This Lukuko is a genuine girl. I think Lukuko went pale when I mentioned the computer. She lowers her face immediately, so I can't be certain. Uh oh. Lukako hurries inside. It looks like she knows something. Lukako's dad soon appears. I rush the greeting and get down to business. Yes! Finally, I've returned to the world line with the IBN 5100. There's gonna be a problem. Because Lukako and Pale 
So, did she break it or something? Luca's dad heads into the sanctuary in the back. <laughs> Lukako has been silent this whole time. She keeps touching her hair and looking around nervously. Something is definitely wrong here. Or with her. Crap, I just made things more awkward. Yes, you did. I didn't have to say it like that. あの子とはすごく恥ずかしい。わかった。はい。ところで、お前も you're very unconvincing, Lukako. Lukako is looking more and more uncomfortable. Maybe I'm pushing her too hard. I should back off. I did a terrible thing to this girl. So it might be best if I stop treating her as my disciple. I need to treat her like a lady from now on. If I don't, I could get sued for sexual harassment, or charged with attempted rape or indecency or something. But how exactly do I treat her like a lady anyway? I just treat everyone the same, pretty much. Why is this girl so lacking in confidence? I guess she can't help it if it's her nature. But didn't she say her reason for becoming a girl was to gain in confidence to gain confidence in the first place? And yet she's a girl now, but she still seems the same inside. Luca's dad returns. His timing is good. My conversation with Lukako wasn't going anywhere. I try asking just in case, but he looks confused. Obviously something unexpected has happened. The IBM 5100 isn't here. I press my hands to my temples and stifle a groan. This world line is still twisted. The IBM 5100 is like a mirage floating in front of me. I can see it, but never reach it. もしかして知り合いですかええ。what do you know, Lukako? This contradicts Lukako's statement. Lukako said she didn't know about the IBN 5100. Once again, Lukako hangs her head, almost shaking with fear. Her hands are trembling. Lukako, I try asking again. But she doesn't raise her head. The look on her face betrays her. Lukako is lying. But why? Remember, she shouldn't even know about the IBN 5100. Why does she know? Because the world line changed. There's no other answer. Her D mail must be the cause. In Ferris's case, I didn't know what her D-mail was about. But in Lukako's case, I already know what it is. I want to be a girl. The D-mail must have had influence beyond Lukako's sex. The butterfly effect. 
to somehow change the location of the IBM 5100. It was like that with Suzuha, and with Ferris. I can't help but think that the universe itself is keeping the IBM 5100 away from me. At any rate, when Lukaku sent her, uh, sent her email, reading Steiner activated, meaning the D-mail changed the world line. If the IBM 5100 won't return to me on this world line, then my next step is to cancel Lukaku's D-mail. In other words, I need to turn, to turn Lukaku back into a guy. Suddenly, I feel dizzy. It's not heat stroke, and it's not reading Steiner. How am I going to explain this to Lukaku herself? Just the other day, when I called Lukaku a guy, she cried. Then Karisu and Mayuri ganged up on me. Can I get Lukaku to go back to being a guy without stirring up trouble? No. <laughs> this is going to be tr tough. Uh, maybe I should consult someone about this. At first, I consider co uh, consulting Karisu, but I don't think I should talk to a girl this time. Let's think a little. I visit Tenochi's house. The divergence meter is here. I need to know what it says. Canceling Ferris's D-mail appears to have raised the value by boy, about uh, 0.05%. Little by little, I'm approaching the goal of 1% divergence. The number gives me courage. Afterwards, Tenoji recounts his memories of Hash uh, Hashira Suzu, just as he did on a previous world line. I stay until he's finished. It's past 6 p.m. when I get to the lab. <laughs> Welcome back, Arin. <laughs> oh man. There are two girls in the lab Mayuri and Karisu. Wow. So that's back too. Timeline has been corrected, it seems. At least in part. I should stop by May Queen when I have the time. I'll visit sometime when Mayuri and Ferris are working. I didn't realize it until it was gone, but I think I really like that May Cafe. Karisu's reading a Western book. It's the same book as always. It's pretty hefty, so it must take a long time to read. I walk past her and enter the development room. There sits the Time Leap Machine. Today is Saturday, the 14th of August. The first time Mayuri died, it happened on Friday the 13th. After Suzuha's sacrifice changed the world line, Mayuri died on the 14th instead. Her death was delayed by 24 hours exactly. If that pattern continues, her death on this world line should occur tomorrow, the 15th. Just to be safe, I should buy a few days with the Time Leap Machine. I'll need to solve the Lukako problem. I should time leap right away. Just before entering the lab, I peeked into the Brontu workshop. The 42-inch CRT was on, so there's no problem there. Still. Alright. So, we're going to call Daru, I think? No? I have a phone prompt. I realize that's what that is, at least. Um, I'm not sure who they... Or give me an option to call now. The phone wave? Oh! I can call the phone wave. Or I can wait it out and see what happens, I guess. Hmm. It seems like a good time to save, but I do think that um, I am going to go ahead and call. 
There's no reason not to go back in time immediately, I think. By the time Karisu starts talking, the discharge phenomenon has already started. Bye, Karisu. I'll see you back in time. An unpleasant sound pierces my ears. My vision ripples. My flesh and uh, my soul momentarily feel separate. I grab my right wrist. I close my eyes, take deep breaths, and wait for my pulse to return to normal. I took two time leaps, traveling a total of 57 hours into the past. <sighs> the worst is over. All that's left is a headache. I need to cancel Lukaku's email on this world line. I sit down in a pipe chair and try to come up with a plan. nothing. I've been searching for a way to tell Luka, Lukako the truth, but every mental stimula simulation I run in with her in tears. I suppose that's to be expected. After all, I've already seen it happen once. I mistook Lukako for a guy, and she ended up in tears. I mean, Lukako cries at just about anything. Ain't that the truth? To broach the topic now would be like poking an open wound. Damn, looks like I have no choice but to ask Karisu. She's a girl, so she should understand how Lukako feels. I call Karisu over to the, uh, out to the bench in front of the Brontu workshop. We're alone. Delicate? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> to save my ass this instant. Alright! That was different. I give her the rundown, including how many times I've time leaped, and what happened with Suzaha and Ferris. That's a lot of information at this point. How many times have I explained this to her now? This time, she believes me more, more readily than I expected. The only thing she doesn't believe is the story about Lukako. She wrinkles her brow and thought. Crap, I got a mental image there for a second. Judging by her expression, so did Karisu. <laughs> we grimace. <laughs> As a result, I didn't even notice when Lukako became a girl at first, and made a fatal mistake. Lukako's gay or Lukako. Karisu's gaze wanders for, for a bit. What? What a strange fact. Mayuri Obviously not. 
なるべく傷つけないようにするにはどうしようとこうして相談している I take a mouthful of Dr. P in a vain attempt to quiet my frustration 自分のこれまでのうかつな行動を呪いたい気分だ D メールをいろんな人間に使わせるべきではなかった This is my punishment I must shoulder the pain of everyone who used the D mail Suzuha, Ferris and now Lukako これまでのことを悔やんでても何も始まらないあんたの相談に対する私の回答は一つよ Christina sighs, blowing her bangs. Urushibara san niwa, nani mo iwa nai. Do you koto do? Hanashi o kiku kagiri da to. Urushibara san nitsuite wa, anta ni advantage ga aru. Tsumari, kaku ni okutta D mail no naiyo o shitte iru te iu advantage ga ne. So fix it without actually telling Lukako about it. Dakara, waza waza kanojo. Kare? Moto kare? Ha ha. わざわざ漆原さんに事情を告げなくても D メールを取り消すための D メールは用意できるルカコを装って18年前のルカコの母親へとメールを送れということかどうせ世界線が変わればその事実は全てなかったことになるこの際倫理とかデリカシーとかは無視しても問題にはならない The end justifies the mean. A philosophy worthy of a scientist. Daga, Morewa Lukakono Hahoyano Pokebel Bango Shiranai. Ha? Aunt the Bakatanaio? Nan de Motto Kadaiwake? Man, she freaked out. Sonotokiba, Kondogoda in Narto, Omana Katarada. Carisu clicks her tongue. She rubs her brow with her fingers while muttering and thinking. Okasan no Pokebel Bango, Tanto Chokunu in Kikita Seba. 理由は適当に考えて警戒される気がする何ビビってんのよいつもの無駄に尊大な岡部らしくないな Vain and arrogant That was uncalled for I don't have time to be hoeing Kyoma now そんなの口から出まかせで何とかするのよそれにほら彼女って騙されやすそうな性格だしって言ってて自己嫌悪になりそう<笑> Well, you're right, though. Karisu hangs her head. だろう。担当直入にありのままを話すべきなのかもしれない。下手に小細工を浪するより真実を告げる方が。マットサイエンティストが誠意とか笑っちゃうわね。洗脳してやる。ハハハハとか言い出した方が似合ってる。I'm being serious, damn it. ルカコの痛みも背負う。そうしなければならないのだ。最終的にDメールを取り消したとき、ルカコが女だったことはなかったことになる。故に、俺が背負わなければならない。だったら私に相談する必要なんてない。今すぐ彼女のところに行って、私
Is he gonna say the truth is you're a guy? <laughs> oh, god damn it. Okabe. God damn it, man. Uh, how could you think that was gonna work well? No reaction. Yep, there we go. Or so I thought. The tears start welling up in Lukako's eyes. Damn, I made her cry again. Yeah, how... Oh, God damn it, Okabe. But this time, I don't back down. You don't have to start at the conclusion. I explain everything. About time travel. About the D-mail Lukako sent. About Mayuri's fate. About how to avoid it. I talk and talk without pausing for breath. Finally, I'm done. Her voice is trembling. She backs away from me, shaking her head. ゆりちゃんも悲しむと思いますから。いきなりこんなこと言われて困惑するのもわかる。だが、全て真実だ。俺はなんでもあいつの死の場面を見てきた。お前にはこんな勝手なお願いをしてすまないと思ってる。だが